All right, guys, here's five ways to tell if you're a sexist. And we're going to do this in the form of a game. It's called, is this sexist or feminist? All right, let's start with rape. Rape in an alleyway at knife point, pretty much the worst thing you, you could have. Before feminism, men wanted to make it a capital punishment. They wanted to make it a, an offense where you were killed if you raped a woman. However, today we have things like fart rape. We are told that if you are drunk when you have sex, that is rape. We are told that all men are rapists. We are told that uh, sex you regret later is rape. When a woman lies about it, she's a hero. When women are caught flirting with their alleged rapists, after the fact, we are told there are no perfect victims. So it gets to the point where you can lie about rape because you're raising awareness. Thanks, Mattress Girl. Uh, that brings rape in the general, that dilutes the definition to the point where when someone says, I was raped, your first thought is, who farted? Is that sexist or feminist? Let's try body image. Big is beautiful. Women who are hundreds of pounds overweight need to love themselves. You know, when you fat shame someone, it just makes them eat more. So do the opposite of that, especially with kids. Don't, it's bullying if you tell them they're fat. So let's get people, especially women, let's get them nice and big and plump, even though half a million Americans die every year of obesity. Is pointing out that hate fact sexist or feminist? How about sex itself? Uh, it used to be men had to court women to have sex. Now they just go, well, why buy the cow when I'm getting the milk for free? And you can have slut walks and women are fuck buddies and sex is cool and there's no ramifications. In fact, I read recently an article where this young girl was saying it sucks because sometimes you catch feelings during these hookups. Yeah, that sucks. Love sucks. Having to court a woman and then provide for her for the rest of her life is lame. You should just keep having sex with women, using them as a colostomy bag for your semen for their entire lives. Slut walk her way well into her 40s where she can have a lonely life with her dog. Is that sexist or feminist? How about abortion? Not only can men have sex with anyone they want, right? They can, they, uh, there's no ramifications if she gets pregnant. She just has an abortion. Now, that is unnatural, believe it or not, and Darwin has injected some serious evolutionary regrets. When a woman has, I talked to a woman last night who had a four and a half month abortion, and she couldn't look at a picture of it, of course. It doesn't fit in your brain to do that. But it's not uncommon today for young girls to have gone through, say, four, because men ejaculate into women. They like it, it feels good. What? How do you not know that's going to lead to problems? Do you poo your pants too? That feels good. So we have a woman where a, a world where women do what they are naturally predisposed to do. They get pregnant. Their body works correctly. And for that, they get mental trauma for the rest of their lives because a dude wanted to enjoy himself and it feels 10% nicer to go in than out. Is that sexist or feminist? Here's our last one. How about gender? Okay, women are the same as men. That giving birth thing, nah, that's boring, that's lame. Don't even pay attention to that. Women have careers, they drive race cars and they kick butts in movies. They're total badasses. They rock out on guitars. And you know what? Their vaginas don't even make them women. A, a guy could just go, I'm a, I'm a chick and put on a wig. I don't even know if he needs a wig. He doesn't even need to have fake tits put in. As soon as a guy says, that he's a chick, he's a chick. That's how easy it is to be a woman. That's how nothing it is to be a woman. In fact, did you know the term sausage fest is sexist? It's transist. Because just saying a room is full of people with penises doesn't mean they're all men. Could be a room of women with penises. Did you also know that it is transist to make abortion a woman's issue? No. Some men might have abortions or some, yeah, some woman who identifies as a man might accidentally get pregnant and get an abortion. That's a dude having an abortion. So don't talk about it. Look, by the way, look at Chris's Hay Chris Hayes' face when he untwists this retarded pretzel. The younger feminists, for example, at the abortion funds no longer want to use the word um, woman in relation to abortion because it excludes trans men. And for right, because, a lot because, of uh, because uh, when we're talking about uh, reproductive the, the physical attributes that allow one to re, uh, give birth, right? That is part of the category that is sex, 
right? That's a physical category. That's not gender. Did you see how smug he was? Let's go back. I want to see that. F I want to see that face frame by frame. Look at it. There's been this kind of. He's so proud of himself. See, that is the liberal ethos in a nutshell. They make this tangled mess, this Rubik's Cube of terms and, and political correct verbiage. And then when they solve it and show you, they go, <laughs> look, I did my stupid puzzle. It's got nothing to do with reality. They don't care. Anyway, that was number five. Be being a punk is harder than being a woman at this point. To say I'm a punk, you need to get the hairdo, the boots, the motorcycle jacket. You need li at least one Sex Pistols record. Not so with a woman. Just say you're a woman and you're a woman. Is that sexist or feminist? If you answered sexist to all of the above scenarios, you are a feminist. Although you're not allowed to say that word anymore because that word has now morphed into a group that says being unhealthy is uh, unhealthy. Uh, no, sorry. Being a feminist today, it's so complicated. I wish Chris Hayes was here to translate it. Being a feminist today means you trivialize rape. You say it's uh, not unhealthy to be unhealthy. You say that you, you don't believe love exists and you don't think sex has consequences. In other words, to be a feminist today, you don't attach value to what it means to be a woman. Okay, I'm a sexist. And under these crazy definitions, it does a lot more good for, for women than what you stupid bitches believe.